Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, we are going to test and see how we can use the eShine TX03 FPV camera and transmitter. This is three in one, which means we have a camera, 600 TVL wide angle camera. We have a transmitter and also we have a uh, clover leaf, four leaf antenna. This is five gram, very lightweight, and the power is up to 200 milliwatts. So that's amazing, but it is selectable for short distances. Uh, you can select 25, 50, or 200 milliwatts. And the uh, operating voltage is between 2.2 to five volts. So you, you can either have a, so you can either have one of these tiny battery connected to it directly, or maybe just put uh, your own uh, 5 volt regulator to use this FPV transmitter. So let me show you how we can use it and how can we set this up. So this is a package, very tiny. Let me just open it. So the actual transmitter, so this was a cup. So this is the transmitter and the transmitter camera and antenna. So let's see what else we got. Very well protected. So we have another power cable that you connected and we have a manual. Very nice, clean. English manual so that's good and so here we are getting all this in a package that arrives so that's it so this the camera uh, operates with 2.5 to 5 volts so I can just test it here with one cell battery this is about 250 milliampere hour so and the camera has also a display which shows you some power channel and group of bands. Uh, this is a 600 uh, TV line uh, lens. The power output can be adjusted with uh, 25 milliwatt, 50 milliwatt and 200 milliwatts. And here is a switch. So this is a camera very close up and this is the switch that you push with your finger to change the channel and I'm trying to give you very close up view of this camera so very nice display to give you information this is extremely helpful and the antenna is also good it has been soldered very well of course it will not withstand any crash but it is uh, well enough so this is a connector so that is connected now let me just connect the power so once you connect the power so now it shows the screen will always flicker unless for the first time when you connect it it will be zero but other than that, so it's flickering. Now it shows we are in channel 4, B, group B. And this line at the middle, this one line, it shows uh, the lowest power, which is 50 watt. So this switch can be pressed in uh, short or longer method. So let me just press it. If I just press it one short, it just changes the channel. 5, 6, as you can see, it goes to 7. And I press it again one to eight of those channel in one band so if i if i want to change the band just press it for more than two seconds so now we are in b i'm pressing it again it goes to e f r u o l h and then it comes back to a so now we are in A and we leave it for a few seconds, it goes to back. So we are in A8 and the power is uh, lowest, one line. So we have one, two or three lines. So now let's change the power. To change the power, hold this uh, for five seconds, which means longer than two seconds. Because if you press it for two seconds, 
it goes to the band selection so short press will change the channel okay so for two seconds we'll go to the band if I hold it for more than two seconds so now it's in the band if I leave it it returns back after this flickering any short click will change it so now to change the power let's hold it for five seconds okay so now this is one if I press it again it means two so now it's 100 milliwatt and this is 200 milliwatt so press it again zero that is off so no transmission and that is now it's at 50 so if you leave it uh, for a few seconds so we are in A3 at low power so now let's test it so this is my FPV receiver I'm just turning it on so now we are as, as you can see here we are in A low power 3 so we are in A3 now as you can see here it shows B I don't know if you can see it so I can change with a group now B C D A so now I'm in A to change my channel 7 8 1 2 so this is A3 now I'm getting the signal and here is my screen and so this is a video from this camera okay so this is very wide angle so let me just move it to close to my screen for the backyard as you can see that is the video from the backyard and that is going to the sky so the power was 50 so now let me press this and hold this for two for five seconds now the two line now that is a 50 milliwatt so leave it it goes back so the three line is 200 milliwatt so we have 50 we have 25 50 and 200 milliwatts to, to understand the meaning of channels, the channels and frequencies have been divided into groups here or band. So we have from A to H, here they mention it, but you will not be able to receive it on your receiver. So some of these channels have been merged or frequencies are very close. So you will have to play and see which uh, frequency will work. But in each band, for example, in A, we have from one to eight. So we have eight and then nine here so that's why you have 72 channels eight times nine but uh, depending on your receivers you can select one of these and then the this transmitter will transmit that selected frequency for you so you can get a clear uh, a channel so that was the introduction of how to use the eShine TX03 FPV transmitter with camera Thank you for watching, please thumb up the video if you like it and also please subscribe, I appreciate it.